คนไหนฉันจะไม่ยอมปล่อยใครไม่ยืนกลางเธอนานกันไม่ก็ตามฉันจะพยายามทำให้เธอIn GC, area 51 added 8 members. Hello. Do we have a new GC? Hey. Hey I I I I. Why was I added here especially with these idiots? Idiots you love. Whatever. Can I admit a ri- Ah no. Why well let me just state why I created this group. Okay. Have you all noticed how Midoriya and Baku babe ignore each other? Hum wait they always ignore each other don't they? SMH no but really I did notice them ignoring each other. Yes Midoriya seems to be more sad as days pass by. Yup Baku bro seems more annoyed than before and avoids meeting Mido bro anywhere. OOOT. Shut up Kami also what do you want us to do I have this idea we should look for another idea. Hey Ida kun let's give her a chance. Yes Ida please see E. 10 ER let's hear her out. Please Ida don't be a boomer. Fine. So let's pull a prank on them. I knew it. No let me explain. If we ignore them specifically them then they might feel like something's wrong. This might lead them to comfort each other, also gives them an excuse to talk they can't totally ignore each other during their hard times. Stan Mina the love guru for never failing to be consistently stupid. Hey I am the love guru. Yet you are still single. Stop attacking me already. I am against this plan this could affect them really badly. Agreed there's a fine line between fun and being a jerk. But do you have other ideas? Maybe we can lock them in a room? Baku bro will burst open the door. How about push them on each other? That would be too awkward even for them to speak. Exactly. Ask sensei to help are you asking for a house arrest? Well since no one's idea is working we should listen to me now cause only when their feelings are mutual they will talk without fighting. Bro. That was so manly Kami you used your brain cells. Dang he actually made a good point. I just don't want Deku to get hurt. I am sure if he knows that we are his winkles he wouldn't mind. What the fuck is a winkle? Since I don't know everyone's pronouns I used pals. Stan Hart. The next day. In real life. The Baku squad were briefing the plan as Baku Go showed up. There was an awkward silence. What are you extras up to none of them answered. Why the actual fuck are you ignoring me? Fine then I will have no more extras to annoy me anymore. Baku Go huffed and went towards his seat. He is upset I can feel it. It was your idea and there's no turning back. Technically you all agreed as well. Calm down ladies. Let's watch this unfold. Meanwhile with Deku squad. Midoriya had greeted them with a warm smile. Sadly they had to ignore him according to the plan. Ah uh, guys did I do something wrong? Todoroki went back to his seat and so did Ida. Ochakon and Suyu eyed each other with concern knowing that it might turn bad but still chose to stick to the plan and went to their seats. Midoriya sat on his seat confused. Is this another prank or did I really do something wrong? The whole class went by and both the squads ignored Bakugo and Midoriya. During lunch. Midoriya had went to sit with the Deku squad but there were only 4 chairs. There wasn't an extra one and almost all the tables were full. Guess I will go to the rooftop today. I don't want to do this. Same. This for their own good. How we are just hurting him even more trust the process Ida kun I have already made plans on how to make it up for him. Whoa really yes but money won't be a problem. I wasn't saying that but okay also calm down no Charcot. I will have my comeback one day. Sure. Bit he meant it literally not sarcastically. Oh okay. But, so have you done your homework meanwhile with Baku squad? They had been ignoring Baku go. Baku go tried to give them a taste of their own medicine but he wouldn't admit that he was hurting as well. He had went to the rooftop as well. He had eaten his lunch and was heading towards class when he bumped into someone and tripped on that person. Totally not typical drama scenes moving on. Karchan? Do you plan on staying on me? What the fuck Deku? Bakugo yelled as he got up. What are you doing here? Where are your silly friends? I could ask the same. What did you say? 
N no Kachan I meant the squad never leaves you behind so why are you here and why would I tell you that? Oh it's okay since you ignore me anyways. Why do you keep on mumbling you idiot? Also I ignore you yes you do. Haven't you always though no I don't. Well these past few days I tried to talk to you but you never answer me at all. You keep on ignoring me like I am some piece of crap. Same goes for you whenever I tried talking to you it seemed like you were busy with something. You tried? Yes I did once when I tried to talk to you that floaty bitch took you away and the other time you were talking with icy hot bastard. I was busy I wasn't ignoring you. What made you think I would ignore you after running after you for years? Nothing. Are you hiding something? What? No. Kachan our interactions might not have been the best these years but I can tell when you are lying. Quit it with your shitty ways. So I was right. It's time for classes let's go. Midoriya dragged Katsuki to class and they went to their seats. In Mission GC. Did you see that? They came together they were holding hands. I frigging know right Ashes. Calm down ladies Bakugo was literally dragged in here. I feel miss Baku bro sad dinky noises. Just a little more Kami we will get through this. Sad zero noises. Even the slightest improvements should be noticed then we can get our hopes up. I strongly agree. Heart. Azor sensei is behind you Mina. Wait what? Azor took Mina's phone. He scrolled through the chats a bit. I clearly stated no phones in class. Mina you will stay behind after class. Okay sensei. After classes everyone had left and Mina stayed behind. Whatever you kids are doing should stop. I can clearly see how it is affecting problem children. Azor sensei trust me with this one. It's worth it. They will date for sure. If anything goes wrong you and her friends will be held accountable. Yes sir I understand. Now house arrest. What? Please let's make a deal. No. Hear me out. No. Cats. I am listening. If you spare us this one time we will get you a cat and treat you at cat cafe promise. Deal. Now get out. Sai my fav sensei. Meanwhile at Bakugo's dorm. Bakugo heard a knock at his door. Why the fuck are you here? I am um, I believe we have a conversation to finish. No. Bakugo was about to close the door but Midoriya entered and closed the door behind him. What the fuck do you think you are doing? I need answers and I know you need to. Fine. Bakugo went to sit on his bed and Midoriya sat on the chair by the study table. So um let's start with why exactly you are ignoring me? No why me you say first why the fuck do you ignore me? Isn't it obvious? I felt like you kept on ignoring me and I didn't want to be a bother so I ignored you back. Now tell me your reason. It's okay if you need more time. No now. Okay, let's start with middle school. Well I'm okay. I kept on thinking about it. I didn't do anything a best friend would do. I bullied you let you down hell I even asked you to die. You didn't deserve it what was I thinking back then? How delusional was it for me to think that I still could become a hero after all that car chan? No let me finish. Looking back at the past it's true I really am a monster. I try hard to not be aggressive I really do I don't know how to show it. Whenever I try doing something good I fuck up. Being good is not the thing for me. I hurt you since the very beginning of first year. Got you into trouble but even after all this why do you still not give up on me? What is there in me that you see I hurt you the most then why do you not leave a monster like me? These thoughts these feelings all make wanna fucking explode shit and... Izuku came near Baku's go and cupped his face with his hands. Kachan look at me. Bakugo looked at him holding back his tears. You are not a monster. No you are not. You wanna know why I keep on following you because I believe you can change. The things you said to me are that change. You know honestly I was going to give up I really was. But after those missions where we fought together I saw you making an effort. You really weren't that good at hiding it. I wanted to give you another chance because you showed me you wanted to change. I know you bullied me and I hated you for that. But I realized if I shut you down and not let you change you wouldn't change at all. Bullies should be given a chance to change they should be shown what they did was wrong and rest is upon them. I decided to be the one who brings that change in you. You know what you opening up to me is the best achievement I ever had. 
I trusted you with my secret because I knew you would keep it. I did hate you but that would mean me losing to myself I wanted to be your friend. I wanted to help you and I think I did pretty well and I won Ka Chan I did. You are not a monster you do care maybe you are not that expressive but your smallest effort matters you don't know how much change you can bring and I am glad to have my Ka Chan back. Bakugo had let the tears he was holding back go. He knew he was with a person he could trust and there was this feeling which was more mutual than ever. Bakugo had finally let go of his ego. As they looked at each other with understanding Deku did a pro gamer move and kissed Bakugo. Lucky him Bakugo kissed him back without sending him to his grave. After they broke the kiss they both were blushing hard. I am sorry I didn't mean to wait you didn't? No I mean yes but no wait. Bakugo pulled him in for another kiss. I meant this kiss I liked it and I have no regrets what about you dumb nerd? No regrets. Kachan love you too. Whatever dumb nerd. Say it back. No. Are you shy? No. Midoriya smirked and did the next pro gamer move. What are you planning shitty nerd? Midoriya leaned on him and. Tickle attack. Fuck no last time I went senseless bitch no. I won't stop. Bahaha s stop a h h h h stew op. No. Meanwhile outside the dorm. What's that noise? Hope. Bruh. Are they killing each other? Maybe. What let me tell Azor Sen no. It took me half of my this month's allowance to buy him a cat and save us from house arrest don't be a snitch and be grateful. Hail Queen Mina. Next day Deku had woken up to Bakugo cuddling into him. I am so lucky today. Quit staring already. So Kachan are we dating? What um you know? Yeah I guess. Cool. Let's go to class. They had gone to class together again. Sus. Look at how they look at each other they must be dating. They are not talking to each other. Maybe they are trying to keep it a secret. Who knows. After classes at lunch both Bakugo and Midoriya had gone to the rooftop to have their lunch. Kachan why are you here today? Felt like it. Oh. Is your squad ignoring you again it's probably a prank they did this before. I feel like it too. Since we are here let's eat together. Fine. They then ate together, joked and talked about lovey dovey shit this author never went on a date don't attack her please. Meanwhile the Deku squad and Baku squad were sitting together at lunch. Deku kun didn't come to eat with us. Baku bro too. I think they might be angry at us. You think? They probably are but the great thing is we can fix it. Yes we got it covered. Wow awesome. I don't think trust the process. Bakugo and Midoriya are after classes and went to take a stroll around the nearest park. Meanwhile Todoroki and Suyu had gone to buy something when they saw them together. I guess this is the moment. Yes we should take pictures. Bruh. Isn't it gonna be weird stalking them? Yes but who cares? Meh yeah. They both had kept good eyes on them. They were surprised to see them talking without fighting. They would steal small kisses and Azuku Midoriya would randomly come up with a pickup line and make Baku go blush. Todoroki knew that those were from some 1D fanfics they had read together. Those pickup lines are half cringe them are good. I agree. Does Ida use pickup lines on you? Nope I am the one to do so. Oh wow I should try some on to Koyami. You could. While they were having a very understanding conversation Bakugo and Midoriya had already left the park. Where did they go? I don't know we were busy talking. You got the pics though? Yup. Alright. Later. In Mission GC. You might like this. I see hot sent 5 attachments. I am noise. Wow what finally now I will leave this group. Spotify 2 left. Wow so manly. We did it yesss. Now we don't need to ignore Baku bro anymore. OMFG I did it. We did it. It was my idea. Okay. Whatever now let's apologize to them quickly. I agree. In the main dorm halls. Bakugo and Deku were sitting together and watching something but not to be really obvious they made poor Koda sit within them. Uh, yes. I just remembered. I need to walk my fishes. Koda escaped leaving the two problem duo alone. Dumbass.
The rest of the Deku squad and Baku squad had approached the new couple. Izuku had secretly winked at Baku Gao and he knew exactly what to do. Why the fuck are you extras doing here? Um Baku bro calm calm my ass why did you come here now? We are sorry Baku babe let us explain. What's there to explain? Well. You're Erika san there's nothing left to say you all ignored me like I was nothing. Do you know how much it hurt? I we are sorry Madriya. Sorry now you are sorry? Please we miss you Baku bro yeah we are sorry. Please forgive us Baku bro. I don't think so. Same here. The three idiots were at the verge of tears as well as Ojako. Suddenly Midoriya and Bakugo had burst out laughing. Bahahaha you should have seen the look on your faces. This was awesome what? Wait. Huh. So anyway since you forgive us let's indulge in our daily hobby? What the fuck just happened here? They apologized. Oh. But I won't forgive you fully unless. Me and Shoto bought all my latest merch. It's not about that. Then? You all need to buy me lunch for a week. That's easy shot to each one of you for a day. Why you bully me? Dang fine. 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 Okay. Same goes for you extras. Sure Baku babe anything. Also I will take the merches. Yeah sure here you go. I have one last question why did you ignore us in the first place? Oh to get you guys to date duh. What? Shit. Run. Good idea. WHO's idea was this? Me nah. Nope Denki it's Denki's. Bro sorry. The betrayal. Jiro. I am just gonna go create a new Spotify playlist. Let me help you with that. Midoriya let's go read fanfics. 8. Well you see Azor sensei had no one is saving you from me. Wait no RIP that. Stop. 